to the founder of the company was my great great um, even though the two of us are not manufacturing drums anymore I was going to be the fourth base and they're only an eighth and a half a roof to keep them leaking so it went to Mr. Cooley my ancestor and they incorporated along with cigar lighters toothpicks croquet sets and other little women and that ping pong pad actually stretched the skin head of the 1990s I have 7,500 clamps to girl who carried this drum was in material. They reground it, added it to the wood pulp, and made it inexpensive. That's always a good thing for a toy company. Um, the weaver that would have been tar that was on the rope in the rigging of the ship. Mm -hmm. Framed in for the windows, had a stationary mixture on the hillside. <laughs> and this is taking the spring of 30 blue, the black, run the piece, bring it out, add the other two, re register your part. So my grandfather figured there had to be a better way to press around those print rollers. So we have a 110 volt DC generator set that we bought. Pressure on it. By adding 10 pounds of pressure. 212. With 10. That's wild. That's this machine by my son or myself. Pretend mm. this hot. This is the piece of cardboard. The hot piece of wood. Step on the middle of wood right up. Now to get it off, you go. Soldering the seam and soldering the ends in the can. It didn't take him too long to realize you really shouldn't put that much lead in the food that was that were stored in the inside. Yeah. Mm. So <laughs> this looks like they're all in really good shape. Now, uh, he ran Humphrey's garage anytime, anytime.